After our deck was built, we were left over with 30 inch gaps on either side of the patio. We wanted to fill in the gaps with privacy screens that were both cheap and affordable. I started off by cutting the spindles that we had left over from the build to fill the gap between two columns. I needed four spindles in total, two on each side, to frame in my privacy screen. So once you take your spindle, we will actually dado the cut right in the middle of the spindle, which will act as a holder. So you want to find your middle, mark it, and that will give you relative center of the screen. And that's what we want to cut out all the way down the spindle. I used a level just to make the marking easier all the way down the spindle. Now this design is very versatile. There's a lot of different screens that you can pick from. Just showing you a couple examples that are available from both Home Depot and Lowe's. Now some people have even used lattice like this as a privacy screen. Now I don't have a dado attachment for my table saw. Well, what I did was took multiple passes, the width of the privacy screen which did the same thing. After about five cuts on a table saw, you get something that looks like this. Now if you don't have a table saw, Home Depot and Lowe's do sell the 2x4s that is already data. And now the most satisfying part of the job, test fitting it and making sure it slides smooth. And you can see it's perfect. That's what you want to see. Just enough room to hold it, but just smooth enough so that it slides from side to side so that adjustments can be made. Now this is totally optional, but what you can do is add a pocket hole to the opposite side of where your dado is. You can also pre-drill a small hole if you want. It'll just make securing the wood to the 6x6 or whatever post you have that much easier. And you can see the pocket holes. There's one on either end and it needs to be the opposite side of your dado cut. Before staining the wood, I just gave it a quick sanding with 220 grit sandpaper. And you can see here, I'm using dark slate stain just to match your deck. Now if you haven't used this microfiber staining applicator, it is a definite game changer. I would highly recommend picking one up if you do any type of staining. After it was done, just gave it a quick wipe just to make sure everything was dry. After it was completely dry, it was ready for install. Once you find a height that you like for your privacy screens, what you want to do is you want to level your two spindles, center them in between your frame before using any type of screws. Once you're happy with the positioning, you can go ahead and throw in some screws. There you have it guys, a really easy way to add some privacy to your patio. Let me know if you enjoyed it down below and thanks for watching.